Hey, Montana, how does it feel after being caught red-handed? It must be really thrilling, right? At least for me. <laughs> what on earth are you actually talking about? I can't believe it. You accused me of stealing Grandma's gold necklace. How could you say that about your sister-in-law? And I tell you what, everything you said about me was wrong. I didn't steal anyone's stuff. Seriously, Montana, give it a rest. Quit acting all innocent and fooling yourself. I've had my eyes on you ever since you walked through that door. I can smell trouble from a mile away, and you reek of it. You're definitely the one responsible for this chaotic situation. I mean, think about it. When my grandma's precious necklace vanished into thin air, there wasn't a soul in this house except for you. You were the one slaving away, doing all the chores while the rest of us had already hit the road for work. The timing couldn't be more suspicious if it tried. So tell me, if it wasn't you, then who the heck else could it possibly be? It's crystal clear that you're the prime suspect here, Montana. Hold on a minute, Peach. I get that you're upset and all, but I genuinely have no freaking clue how or why that necklace went missing. I swear I'm just as clueless as you are. So don't you dare go pointing fingers at me without any solid evidence or proof. That's just not fair. Oh, come on, Montana. You can't expect me to believe that load of baloney without any proof. This is serious business, and I won't rest until I find out the truth. But until then, my suspicions are squarely on you. You better start coming up with some concrete answers if you want to clear your name. I can't believe that you could do something like that, even though you have just moved into this house recently. What kind of granddaughter-in-law are you? How could you do that to your grandma-in-law? Do you think that you can take over everything in this house just because you married my poor brother? In your dreams? Wait, what? Are you losing your mind? You're being ridiculous. I'm not doing anything wrong. Your brother and I got married because we love each other. It's just that. Oh, for the love of all things holy, will you just shut your trap? Enough with your lies and deceit. I see right through your wicked scheme, sis. You manipulated my poor brother into getting you pregnant. Also, you could weasel your way into this family without any suspicion. Gotta hand it to you. That's some next level conniving. Maybe you should consider a career in law enforcement because you seem to have a knack for scheming and planning. <laughs> Am I right? Wow, Peach, you really have no filter, do you? I can't say I'm surprised. Let me say it once again for the record. I did not steal anything. Stop trying to pin this whole mess on me. It's downright absurd. Oh, wait a minute. Now I remember something. One day I overheard you on the phone whispering about some sneaky plan. Couldn't catch all the details, but it seemed like you had your sights set on Grandma and her property. You were plotting something, weren't you? It all adds up now. You're the one who swiped her necklace. It had to be you. Seriously? Is that how you want to play this, you cunning woman? Blaming everything on me and throwing dirt in my face? I have to admit, you're quite the pro at slinging accusations. It's almost impressive how you can come up with these things. I never knew you had such a talent for it. Mark my words. You'll never get away with this. You're just a stupid, sly housewife. You can't do anything but sweep the floor and wash the dishes. You don't have the right to accuse anyone in this house. You're nothing but a maid. Ugh, Peach, your words are really getting on my nerves. This is not how a sister-in-law should behave, you know? Instead of hurling baseless accusations at me, maybe you should take a step back and think for a moment. I may not have all the answers, but one thing is clear. I didn't steal that necklace. I have nothing to hide. And let's not forget, I have every right to consider you a suspect as well. After all, it's you who's been eyeing Grandma's enormous assets, isn't it? The way you're craving for her wealth, it's hard not to be suspicious. So before you go pointing fingers at me, take a good look in the mirror, Peach. The truth might just be staring right back at you. <laughs> like I care. You're just an ignorant housewife. What else can you do? You're poor and inferior. You should be thankful to live in this family. Well, if your parents couldn't teach you how to behave, then I'll do that for them. <laughs> oh, please, Peach. Spare me the lecture on how a sister-in-law should behave. You're the one who started all of this by accusing me without any evidence. So don't act all innocent and righteous. It's clear that you're just trying to divert attention away from yourself. Also, let's talk about your insults, shall we? Calling me a stupid, sly housewife? Really, Peach? That's the best you can come up with? It just shows how low you're willing to go. Your attempts to belittle and diminish my worth are pitiful. Well, that serves you just right. That's for ruining my family's happiness. Oh, my poor brother, how unfortunate of him to marry you as his wife. Pitiful. 
That's rich coming from someone who's been eyeing grandma's wealth like a vulture. You can deny it all you want, but everyone can see through your fake innocence. Your greed is so transparent, Peach. You're desperate for a piece of that inheritance, aren't you? It's no wonder you're so defensive and quick to deflect blame onto others. But let's get one thing straight. Being a maid does not define my worth, nor does it give you the right to treat me with disrespect. I take pride in my work, and I contribute to this household just as much as anyone else. So don't you dare undermine me or belittle my role. Ha! <laughs> don't make me laugh, Montana. Your attempts to play the victim are laughable. You may think you're clever, but I see right through your manipulative tactics. You're just trying to sow doubt and confusion to protect yourself. But mark my words, Montana, I won't let you tarnish my reputation or tear this family apart. I will prove my innocence, and you'll have to face the consequences of your false accusations. You're playing with fire, and you'll get burned in the end. We'll see, Peach, we'll see. I won't back down until the truth comes to light. And when it does, I hope you'll have the decency to apologize for your harsh words and false accusations. Until then, let's focus on finding the real culprit and bringing justice to this situation. Our family deserves better than this petty drama. How dare you? I'm her favorite granddaughter. There's no way I would do that to her. Moreover, I'm also taking really good care of her as she can't walk on her own. So it's ludicrous to even suggest that I would plan anything behind her back. You're totally wrong about everything. Let me make it clear, I will not stand for these false accusations. I'm going straight to my parents and let them know what you're saying about me. You better believe I'll inform my grandma as well. Once they hear the truth, they'll see through your lies and justice will be served. Believe me, Montana, I'll be right here watching as you face the consequences of your actions. <laughs> better prepare for that day because no one's going to rescue you. <laughs> Hey there, Montana. Have you finished preparing my breakfast? I just woke up and I'm eagerly waiting for the delicious meal you're about to whip up for me. Good morning, Grandma. I'm actually in the process of cooking it right now. Don't worry, I've got everything under control. I know exactly what you like. How does a plate of crispy bacon and a perfectly fried egg sound? Oh, that sounds absolutely delightful, Montana. You always know how to make my taste buds dance with joy. I appreciate you taking the time to prepare such a tasty meal for me. Of course, Grandma. It's my pleasure to cook for you. I want to make sure you start your day with a satisfying and nutritious breakfast. I've gathered the freshest ingredients for the dish, and trust me, they're not only delicious, but also incredibly good for your health. That's wonderful to hear, Montana. I know I can always count on you to prioritize my well-being. It's comforting to know that the food you prepare is not only scrumptious but also beneficial for my health. Thank you for always going the extra mile to take care of me. You're more than welcome, Grandma. It brings me joy to see you happy and satisfied. Your health is my top priority. And I'll continue to make sure that the meals I prepare for you are both enjoyable and nutritious. So sit back and relax while I put the finishing touches on your breakfast. It won't be long now before you can dig in. Oh, and there's one thing I need to tell you. What's that? Is that about your husband? Did he bully you? No, of course. He's really kind to me. Nothing's wrong with him. Then who? You know, I've been wanting to talk to you about Peach. Lately, her behavior has been absolutely ridiculous, if you ask me. Oh, so this is about the missing necklace, isn't it? Honestly, it's just a small object, nothing to fit over. I could easily buy a new one if needed. Don't stress yourself too much about it. Actually, that's not what I wanted to discuss. I need you to understand that I had nothing to do with the disappearance of your necklace. You have to believe me, Grandma. It's Peach who's trying to pin all the blame on me. She's been spreading lies and making up stories about me. Well, I can't say for certain who the real thief is, but I want to let bygones be bygones. I love both of you, and I believe in your goodness. I trust that neither of you would ever do something like that intentionally. Fair enough, Grandma. I appreciate your trust. However, I feel like it's important to let you know that Peach is keeping secrets from you. 
there's something sinister going on behind your back, and I think it's crucial that you're aware of it. Oh, really? What do you mean, Montana? What kind of secrets are you talking about? I wish I had all the details, but I've noticed Peach acting strangely, making secretive phone calls and whispering about plans that seem malicious. It's as if she's hiding something truly evil. I can't help but worry about your well-being, Grandma. Wait. Hold on a second, Montana. Are you suggesting that my own dear granddaughter, Peach, is plotting something evil against me? I can't wrap my head around it. This is too much to handle. I understand your shock, but I'm telling you the truth. I overheard Peach talking on the phone, discussing some kind of scheme to harm you. I couldn't catch all the details, but I swear on everything that I heard it with my own ears. Oh, oh my goodness. This is absolutely unbelievable. I never thought Peach would be capable of such deceit. I am at a loss for words. That's why I couldn't talk to you about it in person. I had to resort to texting you through the telephone, so there's no chance of Peach overhearing our conversation. I wanted to make sure you knew the truth, but I had to be cautious. I appreciate your concern, Montana. This revelation has left me feeling scared and vulnerable. What should I do now? How can I protect myself from whatever evil plan Peach might have? Take a deep breath, Grandma. I have an idea, but it'll require some time to prepare. In the meantime, try your best to act normal around Peach. We don't want to raise any suspicions. Rest assured, I will be by your side throughout all of this. You're not alone in facing this unsettling situation. You're absolutely right, Montana. It's hard for me to wrap my head around the idea that Peach could be hiding such a sinister plan behind my back. After all, I'm her grandmother, and I've always treated her with love and care. It's just not right for her to betray me like this. It's unacceptable. I completely understand your frustration, Ella. It's natural to feel hurt and outraged by the possibility of Peach's actions. However, before we jump to any conclusions or take any drastic steps, I believe it's important to gather more information. We need concrete evidence to support our suspicions. You're right, Montana. We shouldn't make any final decisions or judgments without all the facts. It's crucial to have solid evidence that links Peach to any wrongdoing. I understand that this will take time, and I'm willing to wait for that. Just promise me that you'll keep me informed about any progress or findings along the way. Absolutely, Ella. You have my word. I will do everything in my power to uncover the truth and find the evidence we need. Once I have a clear understanding of Peach's intentions, I'll report the results to you. You deserve to know what's really going on and make informed decisions based on the facts. Thank you, Montana. I appreciate your dedication and willingness to help me through this difficult situation. It's reassuring to have someone like you on my side, working tirelessly to ensure my safety and well-being. Let's stay patient and let the truth unfold. Well, I have to say that I'm eager to see her true face revealed. Montana? Montana! Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it! What on earth have you done to me? Did you seriously go and spill the beans to Grandma about me putting poison in her breakfast? I mean, seriously? That's just beyond unbelievable. You know what? You're hands down the most deceitful sister-in-law I've ever had the misfortune of encountering. Hold up, hold up. Did I just hear you right? First of all, you seriously need to work on your communication skills when it comes to talking to your own sister-in-law. And secondly, yes, I did spill the whole truth to Grandma. But hey, can we take a step back and figure out what actually went down between the two of you? Oh, so now you suddenly care enough to ask me what happened? Seriously? Don't even try to act all innocent in front of me. Here's what went down. I took advantage of being at work and decided to sneakily install a camera in my room. And guess what? 
It caught me red-handed while I was having a conversation with my husband about causing harm to Grandma. And you know what you did? You blabbed all about it to Grandma. This morning, I thought she was fast asleep, so I thought I could get away with it and put the poison in her cereal bowl. But guess what? She was playing possum the whole time. She was wide awake and caught me right in the act. Seriously? (laughs) Well, I gotta say, that's some hardcore karma coming back to bite you, Peach. You can't go pointing fingers at me for this mess when it's actually you who dug yourself a deep hole. I mean, come on. If you hadn't come up with that twisted plan to take out Grandma, we wouldn't be stuck in this crazy situation right now. I can only imagine the firestorm that erupted when Grandma found out. (laughs) She must have been absolutely livid. I bet she's so furious that she won't even let you step foot in this house again. And honestly, can you blame her? Trying to poison someone's breakfast is definitely not the way to win any popularity contests around here, that's for sure. Oh man, you won't believe what happened next. Grandma went full-on Hulk mode on me. She straight up slapped me, called me a crooked, stupid kid, and then kicked me out of the house. Can you imagine the shame I felt? Now I have to gather up all my stuff and pack my bags. But damn it, I don't want to leave this place so soon. I have no idea where I'm going to go. It's like I'm left hanging without a safety net or a place to call home. Ugh, this sucks big time. Whoa, whoa, hold up a minute. Take a deep breath. Let's slow down and really talk this through. I get that you're feeling frustrated and desperate, but seriously? Plotting to harm your own grandmother? That's a whole new level of messed up, Peach. Look, Montana, you just don't understand the whole picture here. It's not as simple as it seems. My husband and I are drowning in a massive pile of debt from gambling. It's like we're stuck in this never-ending cycle of financial stress. We've tried everything, even reaching out to our own parents for help, but they shut us down. They said we need to face the consequences of our own actions. Can you believe that? So, with no other options left, I turned to Grandma for assistance. I thought she'd be there for us, you know? But instead, she dropped a bombshell on me. She told us that we had to find a way to overcome this difficulty on our own. Can you imagine? That's just crossing the line, Montana. I can't take it anymore. It's like everyone has turned their backs on me. That's when desperation kicked in and I confided in my husband about our plan to, well, you know, we thought we could secure a portion of the inheritance she would leave behind. It was a messed up plan, no doubt, but we felt trapped and thought it was our only way out. We were so close to finishing our twisted scheme and then you came along and ruined everything. How could you be that heartless to me? That's ridiculous. You plan to kill your grandmother. Why do I have to hide it for you? I'll never just stand there and see you killing grandma. Never. Who do you think I am? Your slave? You think that just because I'm your sister-in-law, then I don't have any right to speak my voice and report you for doing such a terrible crime? You're totally wrong. Your grandma loves you very much, and she just wanted you to grow more mature and independent instead of depending too much on her assistance. She would never imagine that her own granddaughter could do this to her. Well, she would really be disappointed and couldn't believe her eyes when seeing the scene of your evil crime. Poor her. She just wanted to teach you a lesson about keeping money. I'm sure that even so, she would still give you the money as long as you showed your regret and apologized to her properly. But no, you resorted to the most negative way. That will surely break her heart. (laughs) Don't act all innocent and shocked. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You've always had a way with twisting the truth and making yourself out to be the saint. But I see right through your lies. You're the one who's been playing everyone in our family like a fiddle, starting with my poor, clueless brother. You manipulated him into thinking you were the perfect partner, but it was all a facade, wasn't it? And now you're trying to do the same with me. Well, guess what? I'm not falling for it. You've always had your eyes on Grandma's property, didn't you? That sly fox act of yours was just a cover-up for your ulterior motives. You wanted to take advantage of her, just like you took advantage of my brother. But I'm not going to let you get away with it. Hold on just a minute, Peach. You're completely off base here. I have no idea where you're getting these ridiculous accusations from. I've never had any intention of taking Grandma's property or manipulating anyone in our family. That's just absurd. You're trying to twist the situation and play the victim, but it's not going to work. I'm not the one who planned a twisted scheme to harm Grandma and steal her inheritance. That was all on you. So don't try to shift the blame and make me out to be the bad guy here. It's not going to fly. 
I care about our family, Peach, and I would never do anything to intentionally hurt them. You're the one who needs to take a long, hard look in the mirror and face the consequences of your actions. Don't try to deflect and make me the target of your anger. It's not going to change the fact that you messed up big time. And believe me, this whole family will eventually know all about this and make you pay the price soon. Well, till that time, do whatever you want. <laughs> no, you can't do that to me. This is unacceptable. You're my sister-in-law. And they are my family. You guys can't do this to me. I have nowhere to go. We're all staff at the convenience store. We don't have any money to buy or rent a new house. All we have is this family. So could you just leave us a way out, please? We are family, right? You will never leave us here to death, won't you? Please don't tell my parents. They'll kill me. Oh, no way. In your dreams. We cut ties from now on. Don't dare to contact me to explain anything. It's all crystal clear now, and you'll be able to do nothing about it. So I'll go tell your parents everything, and let's see what they'll do with you. <laughs> no, you can't do this to me. It's unbelievable. Please, help me. I'll do anything for you to live in this house. I'll become a better person, and I will never do anything as stupid as this. Believe me, I'm telling the truth. Sis? Sis? After that, no matter how many times Peach came to my room pleading for forgiveness, I couldn't bring myself to soften up. Her betrayal was just too much to bear, and I wasn't about to give her another chance to repeat her actions. I turned a cold shoulder towards her, maintaining my distance. As time went on, I couldn't keep such a big secret to myself. I decided to spill the beans and tell Peach's parents everything she had done. I presented them with all the evidence I had gathered, leaving no room for doubt. Needless to say, they were beyond furious. They didn't waste a second and immediately kicked Peach's family out of their house. With no place to call home, Peach and her family were forced to settle in a run-down, stinky slum. It was a harsh reality they had to face, and they lived out their days in that pathetic environment. It was a tough pill to swallow, but the consequences of their actions had caught up with them. Meanwhile, my husband and I focused on taking care of our family, including our beloved grandma. We devoted ourselves to her well-being, ensuring that she recovered from the incident. Time passed, and three years later, Grandma sadly passed away. In a surprising turn of events, she left behind a substantial amount of money for me and my husband. With this unexpected windfall, we made a decision to use a portion of the money for charity work. Giving back to the community felt like the right thing to do, and it brought us a sense of fulfillment. As for the rest of the funds, we decided to save it for our future plans. Life has a funny way of working out, doesn't it? We've experienced the ups and downs, the twists and turns. Through it all, we've learned to appreciate what we have and make the most of every opportunity. So, we're determined to live well and make the most of the blessings that come our way. After all, life's too short to dwell on the past.